We definitely love the nostalgia of the wizarding world of Hogwarts. When it comes to gaming, the old PlayStation 1 games will definitely always have a place in our nostalgia. However, recently there was a big reveal for a new exclusive quest and content for Hogwarts Legacy, so we have to go over it so you guys can keep up to date, but don't go telling any muggles. You should for sure click like down below if you do find this video helpful or interesting, and subscribe for all the content we have planned for you guys over the next few days. Comment down below what house you're going to pick between Gryffindor, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, or Raven claw i know my pick but i don't want to skew the comments so let's get into it playstation users on both playstation 4 and playstation 5 will have access to this exclusive content within the game from february the 10th 2023 the exclusive content itself includes an additional dungeon the shopkeeper's cosmetic set as well as a whole in-game hogsmeade shop that has a dark secret. The shop itself is definitely haunted and is up for sale after some unfortunate supernatural events. On the PlayStation blog, it says Cassandra Mason has a shop to sell you in Hogsmeade, but it's all not as it seems in this rundown establishment. What sinister secrets lies beneath Madame Mason's shop and why is she so keen to sell it? There's a mystery Hogwarts Legacy players will discover in the haunted Hogsmeade shop, quest exclusively available on PlayStation platforms. They go on to say, while I don't want to give too much away about what strange things await players beneath the shop, overcoming these challenges will reward you with a shop of your own where you can sell items and gear at better rates than anywhere else, and the shopkeeper's cosmetic set, a right proper outfit for the entrepreneurial Hogwarts student. Well, we can actually see this cosmetic set from the PlayStation blog about this, so if you like the look of it and getting this set is a priority for you, as well as a shop where you can sell your gear and items at a better rate than anywhere else, then you have little choice but to play the game on the PlayStation consoles. I will say, however, it's good that they are including the PlayStation 4 within this, due to the fact that not every everyone can get a hold of or afford a PlayStation 5 currently. On one hand though, I do think the perk of having a shop for yourself, where you can sell items and gear at better rates than anywhere else, sounds like it might be a little too powerful for an exclusive console reward, but maybe it's not that drastic in the actual game itself, we will have to wait and see, but I'm definitely feeling a bit iffy about locking this behind the PlayStation, as it does seem like quite a powerful and cool thing to own a shop for yourself and have better rates than anywhere else. It doesn't end here here however because if you pre-order the game for PlayStation you're also going to get a recipe for the Felix Felicis luck potion which will reveal gear chests on the minimap for one in-game day. They do say though that this is just the recipe, meaning we still have to pay attention in the potion lessons and the room of requirements potion station to brew the actual potion so we can use it for ourselves. we obviously can't just use the recipe. I also wanted to highlight the deluxe and collector's edition, which includes the dark arts pack containing another cosmetic set if that is your thing, but the collector's edition also has this kind of ridiculous floating wand. Personally, I think the idea is really cool, but the actual execution isn't that appealing. Also, where are you ever going to display this thing in your home? But maybe I'm wrong, if this is your thing, totally go for it. Another cool thing you can do as well, this time for free though, is create and link your Wizarding World account with your WB Games account to get your exclusive House Fanatic School robe and collect a Beaked Skull mask. So at least there's some extra goodies we can get for free there, whereas these other things are locked behind playing on PlayStation. I think playing on PlayStation is fine, I like the control scheme, I think that the consoles are good, but obviously everyone has their own platforms that they have available to them, and so I'm generally not a fan of locking things behind particular consoles. I do think this exclusive pack with the shop sounds really really cool, and will definitely sway where I'm purchasing the game on, but maybe this quest will become available to everyone in the future, I really don't know. I think it's a shame that some people would miss out on a whole quest line as well as owning a shop within the game. I I don't think that's a very cool thing of them to do, but you know, it's the nature of the business and the industry where these exclusives are a thing. Remember guys, we're just bringing you the news and talking about it, but I'd love to hear what you have to think in the comments down below. You should definitely drop a like as well if you found any of this interesting or helpful, and do subscribe for all the content we have for you guys over the next weeks. there's some real good ones. And the two videos on screen now, we think you will really enjoy if you did enjoy this one. We have tons of different games, guides, and different things going on on the channel, so there's definitely going to be something for you if you did enjoy this one. No pressure if you don't want to, but that on the screen if you do want to click.